The world's population is growing by an estimated 80 million people a year. To meet the need for more food, it is necessary to use a broader range of the world's crop diversity and to ensure the conservation and sustainable use, especially in the face of climate change. Plant genetic resources are key in the fight against hunger. Yet, crop genetic resources are disappearing at unprecedented rates. In the past 50 years, Genetically uniform crop varieties have replaced many thousands of local varieties over huge areas of production. Such reductions have serious implications for food security in the long term. To address these concerns, the second Global Plan of Action for Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture was adopted by the FAO Council in Rome in November 2011. The second Global Plan of Action is a framework, guide and catalyst for action at national, regional and international levels. It aims to create an efficient system for the conservation and sustainable use of plant genetic resources, including seed systems, through better management, cooperation and coordination of all relevant activities. The second Global Plan of Action provides a comprehensive and flexible structure for countries to adopt supportive policies and programs for sustainable management of plant genetic resources. It calls for strengthening of capacities and linkages among stakeholders through a combination of appropriate policies, scientific information and farmers' knowledge. The second Global Plan of Action underlines the commitment of governments to ensure that management of plant diversity continues to be a key element in the global efforts to alleviate poverty and increase food security. The implementation of the second Global Plan of Action is monitored through the National Information Sharing Mechanism. This mechanism is based on a participatory, country-driven process that strengthens partnerships and raises awareness of the importance of plant genetic resources among national stakeholders. It is also a tool for identifying gaps and defining priorities for future collaborative actions. It is our duty to past and future generations to conserve and sustainably use the world's diverse plant genetic resources. It requires a collective and long-term effort the time for action is right upon us.